Hello and welcome to the Kikasui channel. It's nice to see you again. In this tutorial, I'll go over the different types of power supplies and their characteristics. Since there are a variety of power supplies, we will mainly focus on the output methods and the differences between them. This time, we'll focus on DC power supplies. To start with, there are two main types of DC power supplies with different output types. The first is the switching type, and the second is the series regulator type. The switching type is a method that uses modulation such as PWM, or pulse width modulation, and PFM, pulse frequency modulation to control the on-off time ratio of semiconductor switches and stabilize the output. Features of this type include a much lighter weight and compact size. Switching type supplies usually have more functions and they are by far much more efficient. Now, let's take a look at the series regulator system. It is a system in which a stabilizing element, such as TR, FET, etc., is connected in series with a load to stabilize the output by converting all but the output power into heat. This type typically has a shorter transient response time. Their ripple noise is also much lower. Also, their output is typically more stable. In short, there is no superior type of power supply. If you do not select an appropriate power supply in accordance with your application needs, your development will be at a disadvantage, and you may wind up purchasing something unnecessarily expensive or applicable to a different set of specifications. If you are able to determine the performance of a power supply from the catalog description alone when making a purchase, you're good to go. However, if you have questions about which type of power supply is most applicable to your applications, you should contact a manufacturer like us directly. We are always happy to help. In this tutorial, we focused on the output methods of DC power supplies. Next time, I'll go over the different types of DC power supplies. We hope you found this tutorial useful. If you like these kinds of videos, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.